Art Lake Conservation Area Brampton. And if I click on the map, you will see that this lake actually looks like a heart, of course, upside down. And if I click on the satellite view, you can see it better. To go fishing there, you enter the conservation area and there are two huge parking lots. So when you get into the parking lot, right in front of you, you will see the swimming pool, play area, splash area. Although there are different types of fish that you can catch in this lake, including bass, bluegill, trout, and even bullhead, I'm targeting for trout. And to catch trout in this lake, if you see close to the shoreline, you will see in the water there is some vegetation. It's not that far. So if you can cast further than this vegetation, and sink it in the bottom, you will find trouts in this area mainly. So if I want to measure it, you're looking into 20 meters cast that will cover you for trout. The trout that you can find in this lake is rainbow trout that, that the conservation administration stock this lake twice a year and as far as I know this year they have already uh, stocked this lake with something around 15,000 rainbow trouts. So let's get into it and see what we can catch in this lake. Okay, this is the spot I want to fish. Time to set up the stuff and start. For this cast I'm using power bait, I'm using 4 pound test line and I'm casting something between 25 to 30 meters. Okay, that I dropped the line in the water and it's all waiting game. While Trout's finding my bait, it's my turn to take the camera and take some pictures. This is the sound of trout. You clearly know when you're using power bait, it's not bluegill or sunfish or anything else. I was not lucky on this one, but there is always the next time. Trout ate the power bait and left the empty hook for me. I try power bait again, attach the belt to the rod, and again the waiting game starts. And 
again the sound of trout. This one is perfectly hooked and I know soon I will have my first trout in the bag. Okay, the first trout of the day, I would have released it, but uh, it's hooked down the throat, so it would probably die. So I will put it in the cooler. Another cast, and again, back to the waiting game. This is a sweet wait. Remember I told you about underwater vegetation and also having a four pound line? This one makes it a little bit tricky to land a trout in this water. So I gotta be slow and patiently bring this guy closer to the shore. Okay, here's the second one. doesn't feel like a very big one but it's still exciting feels like the same size So this is not badly hooked. So this one is not badly hooked. Apparently, I can release this guy and continue fishing. Okay. Turns out that this fish was not really okay. I kept an eye on it and after 30 seconds when I saw it's not moving, I caught it with the net. Doesn't want to swim, so you know what, let's keep this fish and go home. That was a good day, especially when you come here and nobody's around. It's perfect day. Relax, sit there, fish a bit hot, but that's okay. So that was it. Three trouts. That was my daily limit for this lake. And I just close the shop and go home. Would be a great dinner. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.